So today we're doing a full range test on the DJI Neo 2. First in a residential area and then in a completely open landscape. Two different environments, two completely different results. And yes, one of them ends with me going on a mini rescue mission. Let's get into it. Starting off in the residential area. We're taking the drone up to 100 meters and then the plan is simple. Fly straight forward, stop if you lose a connection or if the battery hits 50% so we can get the drone back safely. All right, so the drone's in the air. Let's see what you can do. Two hundred and fifty meters out. Signal quality is still perfect. There's no drops or no lag. So so far so good. Pushing five hundred meters. Now you can start to see the signal bars flicker, but honestly it's not really concerning so continue forward. Seven hundred and fifty meters. Now we are down two bars and they've changed colour to give a warning. Not ideal, but I think it's still flyable so let's keep going. 958 meters the signal finally goes red but with a bit of antenna adjustment I've managed to pull the signal back and we continue to push forward finally reached the 1252 meters mark and that's where I had to call it. Any further and I'm basically gambling with losing the drone in someone's backyard. Returned home safely and when it landed, I still had 28% battery left, which is actually pretty impressive considering the conditions. Now let's take this drone somewhere really wide and open and see what it can do. So you can see behind me, there's quite a wide area, so there shouldn't be any signal problems and anything in between. As you can see, it has a full battery. Same plan as before. We rise up to 100 meters and then full send forward. Let's see how different this is compared to the residential area. Two hundred and fifty meters, no issues at all. Five hundred meters, still rock solid. All signal bars are full and the video quality it's perfect. Seven hundred and fifty meters. We lost one bar for a second but recovered that straight away. From there, the signal stayed stable all the way to a thousand meters. That's a full mile with zero problems. At 1,142 meters, I get the low battery warning at 62%, but that felt a little early, so I decided to just push this forward just a little further. And the signal strength was full, not a single drop. The video quality was great, and this is definitely performing better than it was in the residential area. Very impressive. I kept going and managed to hit 1,557 meters and that's when the battery dropped to 52%. This is when I decided to head back, thinking 50% was going to be enough to get the drone back in time, but I was completely wrong. Return to home started normal, but halfway back the battery kind of just gave up. The force landing on the drone just kicked in. Thankfully I managed to get it in an open area where finding it would be easier in theory and just like that the hunt begins okay so it feels like this might be the place so just where you see the grass over there i think that's where i've lost it um, i'm gonna go ahead just try to see if i can reach that spot 30 minutes later after walking through fields mud Probably trespassing on somebody's land, I finally found the drone. 
And the silver lining at the end of all that was this. Why are you gay? Now let's talk about the 6 mile or the 10 kilometer range that DJI advertises for the Neo 2 with the digital transceiver. I honestly don't understand the point of this metric. It's obviously calculating the straight line, ideal case distance. But if the drone can't even get close to 2 miles before the battery becomes a limiting factor, it's basically a pointless stat. Yes, it can show the signal strength being strong, but the truth is you can't even test that without risking losing your drone. Anyway, that's an argument for a different day, but to summarize, the DJI Neo 2 can fly over a mile in both residential and open areas, but that's really as far as you should go if you want the drone back safely. You can definitely push it further, but as we saw with the testing, it will only end in heartbreak. That's all for now. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.